Hello, everybody. Welcome to our phonics lesson for today. We have been talking about poetry or poems, which are little short stories, kind of like songs that have rhyming words in them. We have gone over a few poems this week. Most recently, we talked about Mabel's poem she wrote us, which was pretty awesome, about the ice cream shop. To get our brain ready to hear and listen for those rhyming words, we're going to read this together again. Now, I'm going to go ahead and erase all of this so we can just see it really easily and just focus on what we're reading and listen to the rhyming sounds. And remember, rhyming words are words that sound the same at the end, not the beginning. At the end, we hear the same sound. So let's read this together and listen, all right? At the Ice Cream Shop by Mabel. Which one is best? I cannot tell. It is so hard to pick. I think to help me choose one well, I'll give them all one lick. Uh-oh, now I'm starting to feel sick. Great job. And remember, we talked about how pick, lick, and sick rhymed, and tell and well. Now, what we're going to do now, I gave you a couple words yesterday. We're going to talk about one of those words, and we're going to see. You were supposed to make some list of rhyming words. Let's see if any of these words are what you came up with. So we're going to do dog, okay? These are the two words. I said dog and chick. We're actually going to talk about dog right now, okay? And we're going to make some rhyming words together. I want you to have a piece of paper and a pencil. If you don't have it, pause it and go get it right now because I want you to help me write these together, okay? So we're going to start with dog. Dog is D-O-G. Can you please write dog on your paper right now? Everybody write dog. Okay, on your paper you should have D-O-G. Now we are going to make a list of words that rhyme with dog together that we could use in a poem, okay? We're gonna make a list and I'm actually gonna help you. If you already have a list, that's great. Get your list and we'll see if the ones we write today match any of yours or maybe you came up with some I didn't think of, okay? So we're gonna start and I'm gonna give you a sound and you're gonna tell me what rhymes, what word I'm thinking about that rhymes with dog, okay? I'm gonna tell you the beginning sound. So we have dog. What if we put a J in front. J says J. What word would that be? J. Og. Jog. Can you do that with me? Remember this? J. Og. Jog. That's right. It would be jog. Like I like to go for a jog. Now let's go ahead and write jog with J. O. G. Now, do you see how jog ends with the same letters as dog? That's why it rhymes. Look, O G right here, O G right here. So we have dog, jog. What about if we put an F in front? What would that be? F, og, fog. Yes, fog. Like, I can see the fog outside. Let's write fog. F. O. G. Let's fix that O a little bit better. It kind of looks. So we have dog, jog, fog. What about if we did, hmm, what if we did, I'm, not, I'm gonna tell you the sound. What if we did ol, ol? I want you to do it with do it with your hand like we talked about in class, you remember? Ol, og, log, what word would that be? Log. All right, great. What if we put, I hope your writing is with me, what if we put a huh in front? Huh, huh, og, hog. 
That would be hog. A hog is another name for a type of pig. Um, or somebody might say, you are a hog in all the blankets. You might have heard that before. Hog. So we have dog, jog, fog, log, hog. Now I have a question for you. What if we put a blend? Not just one letter, but what if we put a blend in front? What if we put the blend fr? Fr. What if we did that? Fr. Og. What would that be? Frog. Yes, we could do frog. F R O G. Look at all these rhyming words you made. Let's let's go ahead and read them all together. I want you to point to the ones on your paper and read them with me. Ready? All right. Dog. Jog. Fog. Log. Hog. Frog. Very good. Now kiss your brain. Now think about this. You can take all of these rhyming words now and you can come up with a poem. I'm going to show you one that I did. Then we're going to make a list for another type of thing. And you are going to write a poem. Okay, ready? Here we go. Let's see what I came up with. All right. Here is my poem that has a dog in it and has a bunch of rhyming words. Are you ready? Here we go. All right. My dog can jog to a hog on a log in the fog. Do you see how I did that? So I have my little dog. He's jogging to a hog. Here's the hog. He's on a log and they're in the fog. Can you see the fog? It's kind of swirling around. It's hard to see. Isn't that great? All I did was take all those rhyming words. Here they are. You can see them all right here. And I made a poem. And I used a lot of snap words, too. Let's read that one more time. My dog can jog to a hog on a log in the fog. All right, you try to read that by yourself. I bet you can do it. Go ahead. Read that all by yourself. Good job. I'm so proud of you. Now, you are going to help me. We're going to make a list. We're just going to make a list again. But then you're going to write a poem. Okay, ready? I need you to get that pencil and paper again. And we're going to do a new word. Okay, and then you're going to write a poem. That's going to be your work after this. Here we go. By yourself. Or your parents can help you, obviously. Or whoever's working with you at home. But not. I'm not going to do it. You're going to do it. Here we go. All right, what's our animal going to be? What is this? Do you know? That is a duck. That is a duck. And we are going to come up with some rhyming words for duck. And then you are going to write a poem about this duck. So first word you need to write on your paper, everybody needs to write duck. Can everybody write duck? D-U-C-K. Duck. All right, here we go. Now. I want you to look at my duck. He is stepping in some stuff right here. Do you see that? We are going to write a word that rhymes with duck. It's another name for something sticky and yucky that you can step in on the ground. It's called muck. Muck. M -uck. Muck. So I want you to write muck. M U C K. You see how it's the same letters at the end as duck. See how duck is D U C K and muck is M U C K. It's always going to end the same if it's a rhyming word. Or at least sound the same. This doesn't always look the same, but these words are going to look the same. Duck, muck. What if he got. Oh, I have another blend we could use. What if he got st stuck? Yeah, stuck. Let's try to write st. What blend says st 
like star. What blend does that? Yes, S, T. That's the blend. And then what's going to be the end? Yep, the same as these. U, C, K. You should be writing all of these words down with me, okay? You need this list. So we have duck, muck, stuck. What if, well, I have another blend. Ready? See if you can figure this one out. Tr, like tree. Who remembers the blends? I wish I had to put the blends chart up right here. That would have been super smart if I had done that. Um, if you guys are okay with it, I could do it real quick if we can be super quick. Let me see if I can do it. I might be able to really, really, really quick. Ah, <sighs> yes. You guys ready for this? You might have already figured out, whoops, the blend that I'm talking about, but I'm going to grab it and I'm going to put it. Um, on this screen to help us, okay? You guys are doing a great job letting me help get this ready for us while I'm in the middle of my lesson. I just had the idea that it would have been so helpful to have this. Oh, perfect. Now we can see it. All right, let's put it right here. Now look at the blends chart for just a minute. I'm going to make it bigger for just a second. Look at the blends chart. Which one says truck? This one says tr. If you're top found tree, you're right. What is that blend? T R. All right, let's make this blends chart a little smaller now. And put it right up here. Okay. And let's go over here and let's see. Tr uck. What is that? Truck. Let's say it again. Tr uck truck. Let's write it. T R. U C K. Very good. So so far we have we have duck, muck, stuck, truck. What about this one's not a blend, just a sound. What about ya? Ya. What would that be? Ya uck. Yuck. That's right. Yuck. Let's write yuck. Y U C K Yuck Yuck Very good And I have one more one more What if we said ol What if we said ol ol uck luck Yeah like having bad luck Let's write it. L U C K. Now, let's go ahead. We should have all these words written down, and we're going to read them together. Okay, here we go. Let's read all of our rhyming words that we came up with duck, muck, stuck, truck, yuck. Luck. Okay, as long as you get your mouth ready at the beginning of these words, it'll make it easier to read. You know they're all going to rhyme. So getting your mouth ready at the beginning will help you. Now, here's your job, though. You have all these words, but what you're going to do now is take these words and you're going to write a little poem about the duck using your rhyming words, just like I did with the dog one back here. Okay, just like that. But you're going to try to use some of these words. You don't have to use all of them. But try to use some of them. See if you can come up with a little story together at home with your parents or your grandma or your aunt or uncle, whoever's with you, and try to come up with a little story and write your own poem and then illustrate it. So write it and then draw your picture of your duck and what's going on with him. But it has to rhyme. I know you're going to do a great job because you are super writers and you're super smart. 
and I can't wait. If your parents would like to take a picture of the poem, you guys can send it to me. You can email them to me, um, or we can just save them. Maybe we can use them at one of our next Zoom lessons. I'm not really sure yet what we're going to do. Either way, save that poem, okay? And then maybe we can read them together on one of our lessons. Um, today is our first Zoom meeting. We are meeting at 1 o'clock. Okay, on Zoom. I've sent the invite. I'm going to send it again today so everybody has the code. It'll be, we're all going to bring our writing book, our how to book that we have been using, and we are going to um, read those books to each other and share what we've done at home. Okay, that's going to be our first meeting. Then maybe we can change it and next time we can read these poems. But this is going to be some of your work to do next is to write this poem. But I can't wait to see everybody at our Zoom meeting at one o'clock today. All right, great job everyone. Bye.